Look, and the baby's happy right now, so that's a good thing. He's never not carrying that baby. I take all our math tests. I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Oh. We will talk about this later. Hmm. Ken, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team out to get pizza. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. It's cool if my bro comes along. The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. <sighs> Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? <laughs> yes, we're going to get some thirsty pizza. What? Hmm. What? It's a real place. <laughs> oh, it is a real place. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of the minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. The man and I trail behind them to Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Oh, why would you do that? Uh, pizza -cos? I could never forget. How did we survive college? Mm -hmm. Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. Those are good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on the couple's slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Hey, give me a piece of that. Huh? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Dad. A different mom walks up to us talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, oh I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been hard, so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. What is this town they live in? Everyone's a single parent? <laughs> Amanda and I look out over each other. Craig gets it from the other angles. Craig smiles sheepishly. I don't know. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Hmm. Th what does throw, hi throw him a bone? What does that mean? Create a diversion? Tag team with Amanda? Hmm. I'll just create a diversion. I pull out the first thing that comes to mind. We watched Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers last night. All the moms are after Craig. Yeah, apparently he's a hot ticket. Caleb and Flint Dogbone visit the truck spot that was also a cemetery and led an exorcism of ghosts that was haunting the hot dog grill. I nudge Amanda for support. <sighs> There was also a demon hunting one of the bathroom stalls and it kept throwing poop on the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Mm. I think the moms and the dads are after Craig, to be honest. Actually, now that I think about it, it's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for all that. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Mm. I haven't seen that either. Wow, we have so much in common. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover. Huh? Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight. If you're not doing anything. Wait, wait, wait. What's Martha trying to say here? I could always use help watching after everyone tonight. If you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady is really going for the gold. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Hi, actually, it would be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. 
Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear, if I have to buy it... Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Hmm. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. He's a handsome single dad. I can't blame them. Right? Totally get it. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Hmm. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad. Hmm. Hey, girls. Oh, wait, they're his girls. I just realized that I put the connection together. So he's got the two ladies and then the small lady. <laughs> the baby lady. Dad, can I... Can you help us beat our record on DDR? Wait, wait, DDR? Why does that sound familiar? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Dance, dance, revolution? Hi. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty called. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worth places in an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on a pinball? You know it. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And I immediately, she gets multi-ball. Looks like she's takes after her father. You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a comp. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just to be able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Mm. Please don't lean on my thing. Huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's like available <laughs> Janet Martha oh I honestly don't know if I could say hmm. seriously you're gonna make it tilt because it's just it seems like so much work to watch after his kids don't you think it would be great if he hmm. lady I swear to God <laughs> all of a sudden the buzzer sounds the game is over Janet made the pinball tilt oh Janet's in a heap of trouble Janet is not making any friends. Huh? You stole Harpy. What? Ugh. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey. Bro. What's going on? Huh? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we'll be stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick buzz with Craig and we head out of the pizza place finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Oh. What are we doing here? Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. <laughs> River. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and puts out, pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Up for some catch. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. <laughs> Man, fatherhood is strange. Nice. You're telling me I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Hey, give SummerSlam is in three days. Yay, LFG. 
Thirst is real with the Mons. Absolutely. They're tripping over each other to get at Craig here, aren't they? Those are some good times. I don't know anyone else who would pull off that rare horizontal keg stand. What the hell? Oh. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, do I really? I don't. You know what? I'm not going to ask anything. Let's just sit there quietly. Like, why do we need to talk? Talking is hard. Well, that's enough. It's nice out here. Quiet. Yeah, exactly. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? I... Christ, Janet. <laughs> what about Janet? Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh, is this when we put on our extra super charm? Oh. Our Riz? Does Ken have any Riz? Oh. oh. Peace and quiet. Oh. That hot, hot silence? <laughs> what? Hey. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday? Where is this conversation going? Oh. But more seriously, I can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much, I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. Ken is a bit thirsty. Yeah, seriously, why is Ken so thirsty? Great question. <laughs> Same. Mm -hmm. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Uh, hit softballs, don't get hit on by moms. You're doing a great job. Eh. The right person will come along eventually. You know, let's just go with the hit on moms thing. A wise man once said that, I'm quoting myself, Copyright. Thanks, dude. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball. And it hits me right in the head. Whoa, that hurts. I mean, it was right all along. Hmm. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do that dad thing for a second. I resonate with the sleepy fantasy. <laughs> you want to sleep in on Saturdays too? It is a thing, Atlanta, you know? Eventually, I assume. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh. It's worse than I thought. Oh, he smells so good. Don't tell me that you have to kiss it to make it better. Hey. You would be so lucky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now it's starting to uh, <clears throat> heat up a little bit here. Um... Kissing is for the weak? What? Isn't kissing like first base? And this is all like a baseball analogy here? I don't know. I'm not even sure what I mean means. So we're going to go with I mean dot dot dot. I feel like I've earned it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you? Okay, yeah, we're definitely hitting on Craig here big time. Not just sleep in. Wake up, go potty, go back to sleep. <laughs> nice, Elena, nice. Oh. Kiss, kiss, kiss. I don't know. I think we're definitely starting to like, I don't want to say beg for it, but pout for it, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Hot damn. We're like literally like freaking four or five hours in this game. We finally got some action. Mm. Walk it off, champ. Are the lights on this softball field really hot or is it just me? <laughs> oh my god those definitely those baseball lights are what's got me all hot and bothered i get up and i dust myself off the baby does not look impressed by all this by the way this baby is not having it <laughs> river yawns hmm. hey little buddy you must be getting tired huh mm -hmm. i hate to say it but i should probably head out sorry things are so you get older and life just kind of gets in the way huh we start walking back to the parking lot. 
Hey, remember that one house party you went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Bro. How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But on the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. Oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out on for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with him for like 30 minutes. You told him you were interested in joining the academy. Hey. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Hmm. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug and at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Wow. I mean, we've got history here. So like this feels fine, right? There's like a, a bond of a college bro bond, I guess. I don't know. A bromance, if you will. That was a lot of eggplants. It was a kiss on the forehead hmm. and a hug with a baby in between mm -hmm. let me make it up to you let's hang soon i'd like that i i yawn as i walk through the door spotting amanda hunched over her collage glue stick in hand burning the midnight oil i figured i might do something productive between episodes of shark hunter lip sync battles do the sharps lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Oh. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is the same good art. Look at the good art you made. Yeah. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner, it's a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Huh? Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Damn, goals! Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Aww, Aww Dad. You did this with your gart. She pats me on the back. Mm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? Uh-oh. I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Hmm. Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very, very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah. How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Ah. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. <laughs> Whew. Date complete. Jesus, there's like scores and such? I don't even know what this, oh, we got a B rank? <gasps> wait, 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 hang on. A B rank? What should I have done differently? Oh, I guess because it included like things that happened at the pizza parlor, it looks like. I needed more dad snark, more running, more pinball. What's with the score? What, what does it even mean? Dad points and then daddy points. B is busted. I Yeah, I thought we had way better than B, right? I don't know. While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear a mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we've got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons! They kissed between the milky twilight. I mean, it was like a kiss on the forehead, but yeah. And a hug, too. Isn't that like a couple bases or something? I don't know my bases, so. I mean, a home run, I know a home run. <laughs> but I don't know what the other bases are. Ah, uh, like it's holding hands? Is that like a base or something? I don't know. Take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. And uh, she yells through the door. 
Bat. I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. <laughs> Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds hmm. it. And? The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Hmm. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, is it okay if you didn't? Hey. I got in! Ooh, I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Hey. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and your photography is incredible. Oh. Wait, Dad. Oh. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to. But I know she's had her heart set on for the longest time. It'll be tough. We'll make it work. Mm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice. Wherever you want. <laughs> Wherever. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil-wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. We could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rito with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. All right. And the dorms are right. Near the bunch of calves and there are all these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring your student ID in. And Amanda, slow down. You're going to choke on your burrito. You know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they are seniors and we all get professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I wish she wouldn't do it in between bites of her burrito. <laughs> I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be besties. Craig and I were a good roommate can be a lifelong friend with benefits. Don't even get me started on the bad roommates. Huh? Oh no. I'm just kidding, we didn't have any bad roommates. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student, who had really been a bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl Rule. Ah, right. oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one? I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit, or maybe a snake. Maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit? Oh boy, I think I'll leave that up to you. She's so excited, I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. So you know I had to talk with Mr. Vega. Mm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? <laughs> no. Hmm. I don't want to put a damper on your good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months at school, okay? If you really want to go to Horn, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Huh. Okay, I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Hmm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, 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 very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person. I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste sad. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Uh. Love you too, Pops. Ah, this is a super wholesome moment here. Welcome. You've got dads. 
Holy cow, that was quite the journey, if you will. You got that. Wait, is this an Amazon? What's this? Isn't this the Amazon logo? Hi, this is Steven from Dad Mazon. I'm out front door with your delivery. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll be right down. Wait, no, sorry. I need to put on pants first. I can't find my pants, but I'm wrapped my waist down in a duvet. Are you cool with that? I can come back tomorrow. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be right down. I found some sensible capris. Oh, jeez. We got to go talk to the... Oh, I got a package. I wonder what it is. Great question. 